Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Six Ages Ride Like the Wind, for we are the horse people after all. Um, what is our plan right now? Well, it's the dark season, late dark season, so no one don't really want to go out anywhere, right? It is cold and harsh. We gotta we gotta stay bundled up. What I think I wanna do, I wanna try and get this calf blessing. Calf 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 blessing. So we're gonna go ahead and sacrifice a little bit of goods. We'll go with eight. Learn the workings of the calf blessing. We can now just switch it right over there and have more fertility. Storm season is upon us. I think we just gotta wait it out. I, I don't think it's worth trying to do things right now. It's a little bit too dangerous. So we're just gonna have to wait. The Zarhawks stole cows. Those... And... Oh no, Ilara died of old age. I'm happy to say our clan hall provisions have paid off and now access to sacred space that helps us focus clan ventures. Great, so many good things. But you, Ainara, were you re automatically replaced by someone? We do have more stuff, which is nice. The leaves of the oak tree fell off early, but nobody agreed what this signified, and uh, we stole magic for the clan. I do like that. Our goods are in a much better place. I do kind of want to work on diplomacy a little bit. Of course, we always need this, because we just do. And maybe we go into crafts a little bit as well? I got a lot left over here. Hmm. Hmm. Harmony is probably good. And health, always probably good. We'll keep the three in reserve. We'll skip on the war right now. Ah, we got the one for war. Let's do it. The old eagles continue to prosper through their devotion to trade. They've been dealing extensively with Paral Uni and Kaswathling and have profited by the arrangement. We should do more to emulate them before their wealth and influence eclipses us. I'm not sure what I can do about that. Many portents attend a recent birth. Hemnu and Neria of the Trend bloodline have given birth to their first child. The sky smiled at the moment of his birth. Zarlan the Wandering Star circled Elmel the Guardian as he reached his celestial apex. Oh, they're so happy. She's so happy. You're a little bit less... You're just curious. Oh, He's like, am, am I being replaced? I was the baby. Now you're the baby. I don't know what that's like. I'm the young child. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if you could feel that expression, or maybe I'm misreading the whole situation entirely. A white calf and a black goat kid were born the next moment, minutes apart. The child is the first male born to the Terence in some time. They claim their main male line, including Hemnul, descend from Ferlaro, son of your primary god Elmal. We had heard about this uh, this birth coming. The family asked that the clan recognize the auspiciousness of this new arrival, who have been named Baron. You can give emissaries, divination. Sacrifice, show no favoritism, or throw a feast. Of course you want me to do that. Show no favoritism. As kin to Hemnul, it is not for me to suggest how extravagantly you should celebrate this great moment in our clan's history. Yeah. We'll announce the birth of other rider clans. Um, diplomacy is oh, very good for freaking everyone. You can just go. Ah, you go. I'll marry you. Just take a couple guys. Our cousin clans received the announcement with polite reserve. Mario said it was not always easy to get people to care about someone else's new baby. Well, it didn't cost me anything, and people are happy. Curious. Food yield shortfall again. kind of venture should we go on? I mean, we could do enemy crafts and just get a bunch more gifts. Cannot do that. Could do foraging. Could do hunting. We still have this banditry threat. I think we want to get rid of these freaking bandits. Jonas probably were able to find any bear dance besides searching for many days and nights, but they suspected the bandits had heard them coming. We need to help the gods ensure people are fed. We do have sufficient food. Yeah, you want me to do the milk blessing again? Can I do a second one? I can. I cannot do this again, though. Trap for foods? 
more effective in dark season, huh? I was more temples for at least a year. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, we need food, obviously. <sighs> Defense is not bad. Crafting is okay. But, I, I mean, I've got specific crafting stuff. Maybe this is the best thing. Just get some, some gemstones. Yeah, let's do that. 37 cows. Such an assortment of gems. We have a lot of goods. Which I'm going to use to probably build uh, some fortifications. If a draggled family of Yanani, 24 of them in all, appears on your border, begging to be adopted into a clan, we were sky people like you once. Four whirlwinds and lightning smashed our city and sent us into the wilds. Save for Erder the Thresher, we had to leave our ancestral gods behind, but you kept in touch with the solar gods. We beg you to take us in so we become who we once were and prosper. You want me to send them away? Yeah, no one knows all the forging secrets. I'm inclined to just accept them. Mood goes down. Population and magic, though, is fine. Yeah, the people grumbled a little bit. And they like carrion. Fire season, huh? Trying to scour for bandits. Who are you, Balandral? You are new. You just got put there, didn't you? You're good, good. You are excellent with food. Is anyone good at bargaining here? Lankarn, you're already there. All seven families are represented. I've got the raven, which I like. You're a shaman. Bardson, you're not that good. What's my magic doing over here? Could be better. Ren yeah, renowned magic. I think... I think I will take you off, Barsden. Current is missing. Damn. I don't want to piss them off. Any good magicians from Karent? No. Fenovo, because I'm just, yeah, you're just not very good at any at everything. You worship Shaman. Very good magic, but... He's not very interesting to me. How about Karent? Just you guys, huh? You might be more interesting to me. Yeah. Ah, emissaries from the Tracker Clan give you incense worth six cows. But they actually have come to talk about the troubling increase of chaos in the valley. They mention slime covering a boundary marker, and six legged boars trampling the gardens and insolent teenagers. Insinor, their chief, wants to know your response. People are just gonna say nothing. The rams are behind this. For the rams, worship a god devoted to chaos. Chaos is a problem, but it's not our worst problem. Hmm. Together our warriors were hunt and destroy chaos. They took little convincing. Who leads the war band? Well, Kandak. This is going to go very poorly, isn't it? <laughs> and we're going to get raided. It took a couple of weeks, but then the hair on the back of Kandak's neck stood up and he knew they'd found their quarry. A creature with dozens of eyes and the body of direwolf paralyzed four tricorn warriors with its gaze. But Kandak slew it with a single arrow, consecrated to Osara. The tricorns praised our help. Awesome. What did that actually do? And we are being raided by seven stars. We're going to use a lot of magic here because there's a lot of them. We will go for survival and skirmish. Tried to hold them off, but they managed to use the terrain to outflanning. So take advantage of an opportunity for slaughter? Managed to cut off a good number of seven sides and have a good chance of killing all of them. Unfortunately, this would take Kendrick away from the main battle. What does he do? Attack them. They turned out to be tougher than Kendrick expected. He struck many of them down and was distraction from the main combat. Hmm. Can we fight cleverly? 
Not so much. They gained the upper hand. Valandre said that she thought she and the enemy will conserve our strength. They fought fiercely, but we let them wear themselves out. They no longer appear to have the advantage. We will fight fiercely. They fought more fiercely, and they beat us. 35 cows. And they knocked over our watchtower. Oh. I knew I should have freaking built more fortifications before. It's really gone. I'm worried we're going to get raided again, but I think I need... I need to raid uh, people right now. Um, what am I looking for here? I want magic. Nothing in exploring, just diplomacy. What into war? We should make use of it. Go on the Zarhawk. And we have to fight them. We're just gonna fight. We'll go for a skirmish, as always. They match the terrain. We'll fight cautiously. They turned and galloped off. Okay. We captured some stuff. And killed some of their guys. And not even attacked back. Plus, we got 23 herds back? Nice! The ownership market has been scrambled by mischief spirits. These spirit spirits called Zalem play pranks involving livestock from time to time. If we trade away the cows, find a claim to exchange the cows for goods. Yeah, that's pretty good. And do you want me to keep the cows? Yeah, let's keep them. So we'll set their good fortune, the wisdom of the clan circle, and not ruining it. As we do. Foraging bounty, hunting bounty, food low. Yeah, we should build a watchtower. But, first, because I don't have spirit indifference anymore. Why don't we go talk to the beaver? We can bargain, and I'm okay with offering him a magic. Beaver spirit eagerly accepted our offer and agreed to help the clan for three years. So what does this do now? Does it make things cheaper? 10% cheaper, maybe? We'll go with the Watchtower. Boop. Delegation of the Zara clan comes to say that the cows we found last season belong to them. Not a chance. They left indignant. Delegation from two clans, the Old Eagles and Tricorns, seek the Maker's aid in resolving a dispute. Each claims to make better dumplings, stone cooked stew, and beef cube sauce than the other. They ask you to assemble a panel of elders to impartially judge their dishes. As frivolous as the dispute might seem, both sides clearly take it with great seriousness. Their temper is already flaring. We should favor our allies. Are we not allies with the Tricorns? I thought we also were allied with them. Select digits will favor the Old Eagle Clan. Yeah, you guys want me to, to, to favor this. Tuning fine differences. It's a matter best left to those who know their food. Yeah, I'm gonna select the best. I just agree the old eagle dumplings were best, as with the tricorn beef cube sauce. But on the stone cooked stew, they could find no difference. When they went to council, who were to announce the results, they asked for guidance. Chai seems cheap. We'll go with the eagles. The winners part of Roxy while the tricorns rode off, accusing us of dishonesty. Great. Yeah, a stake perimeter would help, and we've got the goods. And I could just go all in. Stake perimeter. Lyophor, youngest of the children who gained fire magic prematurely, has grown into a quietly confident adolescent. Dreams of fire bid him to journey alone into the wilderness, he says. Lyophor assures you that you need not fear for him, as it is Elmo's call he follows. Fit... Fet him? Fet him with a night of singing and fermented male's milk. Bid him a quiet farewell. Yeah. Could be sad. When the gods call, we must obey. Give war magic. will weaken us for a while, but return to us multiplied. I agree. What kind of magic? Exploring magic to help... No. Talking magic to help him make friends. Magic passed in to him, and his heart glowed with the honesty of the sun. You go, my boy, you go. 
Ooh, word spread through the valley that three priests of the Surrounding Clan have been manifesting immense divine power. The Rams claim these sisters widely separated in age as daughters of Vinkat. This probably means that they are descended from their people's founding god, Vinkat, though with several generations between them and that dummy god. Attack them? Lord Elmos should not fear blustering or lanth. Rallying our people against this will win us popularity at home. Vinkat is the son of Orlanth, the murderer. God walked the world, yea, nothing helpful. Warn the others. We can attack them, but nobody really thinks that's a great idea. We'll just rally. And who's very good at diplomacy? Yeah, I guess you. Well, you're all very good. At least you're very good at combat, or good at combat. People remain mired in complacency. They said the rams were incarnating the divine, but this they did not mean what they meant to do anything bad to us. I know I read that. Totally crazy. Hendar said winning clans over in small ways might help us when trying to sway them as a whole. Wooden stockade would help protect our wealth if we're attacked. I agree. Four to five. Boom. Shamans of the Green Rock Clan appear at your clan boundaries to ask if you're willing to sell your beaver spirit. They offer 20 cows worth of trade goods. Bandit reminds everyone's ability. I don't really want to. Spirits need wiggling bargains if you want them to work for you. They're better off taking the wealth and sacrificing it to the gods. Bargain? Do I want to? I mean, do we lose the bonus? I'll just decline. Mood went down. Uh, replenish the clan's treasury because you think we have little goods, huh? I know I also did no diplomacy, mind you. But I really, I'm really, this. I feel really, really strong about this situation that we just did. I feel really strong. It's early storm season. Some of a bandit spent diplomacy magic stress. That's, that's unfortunate. Oh! I did not mean to do that. And they slipped our patrols. Well, we'll go for survival here. And of course, skirmish. They rushed us. I don't know. We'll hold our ground. Fought defensively considering their strength. They gained the upper hand. We will take risks. They fought fiercely and they fought, pushed us back. Damn. We took some losses there. Visited all our colored land and I'm getting concerned. We've been growing barley on it for about five years now. It's been to show exhaustion. In the next year or so, we need to convert some of our pastures to cropland. Really? Word has it that one of the nearby Ram people's sediments has flooded with migrants from parts unknown. Observers said that some of the newcomers bolstering the surrounding clan were unarmed and carried themselves as formidable warriors. <sighs> Watch and wait. We could warn the Sky Racers. Seek a non-aggression pact. Attack them. That's not probably going to work for us. Being cut things have much to teach us. It looks like this will the thing is a provocation. They might want to make peace with at least one of us. We'll just offer them a welcome gift. You go, Lankarn. Proceed. And we'll give them ten goods. They received our gris our gift with less than fulsome gratitude. Lankarn said that we had to keep working on our understanding of these odd foreigners. Jerono died of old age. So I have another adventure. All right, Jerono. 25 more people, 10 more heads of cattle. We're out of goods. Zero completely. Hey. This could be a good year for trading missions, you say. We are now known for adopting outsiders, and the trickster stole some of our magic. Fields, fields, pastures. Diplomacy magic is strained. I think we go here. Good year for trading missions. Okay. The Paral Un clan wheels who revered the hawk were an unusual journey to the gods' war. They went beyond the sky to Yelm's brother, Daitsatar, a mysterious god we know about but do not try and worship. He blessed them with a watchful hawk, a magical creature that will make it hard to launch surprise attacks against them. Alright. People are very happy. Good trade prospects. Chaos threat, banditry threat. Adventure is still ongoing. We also have divine disfavor. It's not great. Wouldn't hurt to have more sworn spirits. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. Let's 
Foraging bounty, hunting. I mean, we have food right now. But we have... Two, we don't have enough... Uh, we don't have enough... I, I don't think we can get more trading partners right now. Right? No. Maybe what we can do... Our herds have just been very, very static, mind you. Very, very static. Why don't we just spend this time to explore and search for some spirits? You go. Discord erupts within your clan between members of the Shamanic Anthro Society and those who see them as threatening the old ways. Some people support the Antlers' right to deal with their tutelary spirits as other shamans of your clan do. Others complain that they are becoming withdrawn and antisocial. This does not affect our relations with our neighbors. No, it does not. This is not a trade matter, indeed. Conscious of magic. Banish them? I'm not going to banish them. An extreme measure? No. Bring cheer to all with a feast. Yeah, we'll do it. Sarchan brought cheer to the whole clan, and soon any ill will towards Antler society was forgotten. I like the Antler people. I do like them. Um, another exploration mission? Maybe just inside of our own? We'll send you there. Tensions have reached a boiling point inside the clan. The people blame the former Yelena you adopted for performing rites clumsily. Let me say that they are being blamed for everything because some refuse to accept their honest efforts to play, fit in. A good Chadash game burns tempers away. Have Unaika heap ridicule on both sides. Yeah. Sung by Unaika's jibes, jibes, all agree that the folly was shared on both sides. Of course we have, Onaya spit smack to them. Back from the search, only spirits we found were spirits of disease. Yeah, okay. I do think I want to, to raid once again. Try and get a herd raid on the Zarhawk. And steal some herds? Nice. And the counter raid, no? I received an extraordinarily clear vision of Busarian pointing to the stars and warning me personally that Orlanth the Barbarian was coming to slay Emperor Yelm. We brought scrolls and other secrets of Berserian with us when we left the Golden City, so we know that his predictions are always reliable. But Orlanth murdered Yelm thousands of years ago. I don't think the gods have the same sense of time that we do. Back from exploration, well, we got some goods. A burial mound containing jewels worth 12 cows. Okay, we'll take goods. We'll take them. We can build ourselves a rampart. Is it late fire season I think I want to do it stone wall is gonna to be tough do it tricorn emissaries gift you lapis lazuli worth five cows but the primary purpose of their visit is to discuss the rams they ask if you've heard about the ram people moving in from the south we're keeping an eye on this in the meantime we let the ram killers know I can say that more ram tribes live south of the local rams and even more around Mount Wintertop. Some say their priests fly to the mountain peak all the same. The rams argue that this is the age of storm. After sharing more minor news and speculation about the rams just across the Black Eel River, they ask for your thoughts. God Orlanth is helped by many other storm gods. Yeah. Again, power by after Orlanth murdered Yelm. We should form a kingdom to fight the rams. Okay, I'm guessing... That's my end game goal? Maybe? Rams would be a threat if we had friends among them. We should form a kingdom. Hyler warned us about kings, but this might work if they're a federation without a hereditary thing. King, you've given us much to think about. The Tricorn visitors moved on to other subjects and left promising to praise our hospitality. They must not take in the harvest. Yeah, of course. Food is low. There's no venture in progress. Still have this banditry threat. Trade. Share exploration. Can we try and... Uh... You're, you're not the guy I want to do. You're the guy. Let's try and get these bandits out. They did not see them. And he even took an arrow to the knee. Great. 
We never heard back from that Traveler Hessler who said he could stop the sky from falling. The sky is not falling, so the goods we gave for a sacrificial right might have helped to keep it up. Or he was a swindler and tricked us. A delegation from the Ornlath clan comes seeking your aid. For members of the foreign ram people, they hold you in unusually high regard. They portrait that your friends in the old eagle clan, hirelings like you, have been mercilessly oppressing them. Most recently with a savage raid, they ask you to intercede and broker a truce, or better yet, a lasting peace. I will definitely help this. Talk to the old eagles for them. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll send you. I'll just take a light escort. Did we take a gift? Yeah, we'll take some goods. We'll bring ten goods. They seem so highly that they would give up a fat target because we asked, not because they are going soft on rams. The Ormar things gratefully thanked us. Curious. Curious. This chaos threat and banshee threat is quite annoying. Oh, I can do another one, but we'll probably wait. Entertain. Share exploration. That seems cool, but we'll we'll wait to do that. We'll wait to do that for now. Late Earth season. I think we're just gonna go ahead and explore. Why you? Yeah, take him. Probably just him. Um, diplomatic stuff is not bad anymore. We probably are still considered poor though. It is the early dark season. Can we maybe do a herd raid on uh, the Zarhawk here? Nice. That's always so nice. I had a vision of life for the fire magic prodigy who left us to pursue his strange and lonely destiny. He was with the god Elmal, or perhaps Elmal's son Verlaro. At any rate, he saw me and granted us a boon of war magic. Tarnak realized that exploration party is not surrounded by elves. There's no telling how many of them are in the woods. What should he do? Talk to them. The elves just stood at Tarnak with no expression in their pupilless eyes. Proceed? Continues on the way, the party somewhere else for a league or two, but we're not truffled. Nice! I don't know if they're bad. And they just returned with nothing. With nothing? With nothing. You're right, we don't have enough goods. Do you think we can raid them? It's gonna end up in a fight. I know it is. I know it is. Oh, it's not! Oh, ooh, ow. Sick. Yeah, that's what happens when you mess around in this season. Skyrisser clan engaged in a year-long ritual, ended up attacking the Ormouth clan. They were victorious and gained magical benefits. Sky racers hate them a lot. It's not the early storm season. There's a lot of threats going on here. I mean, exploring now is probably pretty bad, but we're just going to do it. A flint spirit helps with ritual preparation. Not bad. A desperate group of people, about a dozen in all, arrive starving and wounded on the outskirts of their land. They speak an archaic version of your language. Um, my timer has gone off? Almost certainly. If their story is to believe, they fled Orleantos, one of the cities under the vast Imperial Dome. Trolls tunneled up from below. They took us and more besides as food. We escaped and were moving south in search of a safe place to live. We are exhausted and can go no further. Will you help us? Not all our neighbors hate Darren Happens, but they will understand that we cannot help our ancestral foe. Pelt them with rocks? Yeah. We don't... People don't like them. We are better at overcoming prejudices than we are at stoking them. I'm not going to pelt them with rocks and dung. Help feed and re-equip them. I will give you 10 goods. A lady did not seem like the fierce enemy shown in our story 10. People still grumbled that we were gifting our ancient adversaries. It's fine. We are a benevolent clan, people. Super, super benevolent. Um, and actually, we're definitely out of time. So I'm going to put a cut in here. We did take a quick look. Cool. A new spirit. That's cool. Uh, venture is still possible. We should definitely do that. Late storm season. Oh, we should really have them going on right now. Converts pastures to fields. Apparently. 
Much easier task to consecrate the newly cleared lands to Pella and Nial, though. The old fields being grazing land for our cows. Great! Pastures to fields. Pa pastures to fields? The old fields. Ah, you just have to do this every once in a while. I see. Well, anyways, I keep saying I'm going to end and I keep playing. I just can't help it. I got the need. I got the drive. I got the... F ah, ah. Okay, enough talking, enough chit-chat, enough jibba-jabba. My name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.